A Colorado Tech CEO's Facebook post is now being used as evidence in a new prosecution for the January 6th attack on the U.S. Capitol. BDR AI founder Chad Burmeister of Littleton posted a photo on January 6, posing alongside a guy flashing a single finger with the caption, first guy to storm the Capitol today. Federal agents were very interested in that, but it took them more than two years to build enough evidence to arrest that guy earlier this month. Let's go back to January 6, 2021. Trump supporters stormed the Capitol as Congress was trying to certify the election. Let's look at a photo. The guy on the left is Chad Burmeister from Littleton, a tech CEO who led ScaleX and now BDR AI. Burmeister had gone to Washington for the Trump rally and written, we will vote with our voices and ultimately guns. Burmeister told Nine News, we couldn't show you this photo. The guy on the right, he's been a mystery till now. First guy to storm the Capitol today, read Burmeister's post on January 6, changed the next morning to read, peaceful march to the Capitol. Burmeister says he didn't enter the Capitol. He has not been arrested or charged with a crime. The number one man hadn't been either until this month. The feds say he's Kenneth Schulz, and they say the brag about being the first guy to storm the Capitol isn't far off. Investigators say this is Schulz right outside the Capitol and inside the Capitol. They say he was inside the west side within 30 seconds of when it was breached. Included in the Fed's evidence is Burmeister's photo, which investigators said helped them to recognize Schulz, who was arrested this month, more than two years after the January 6th attack. Burmeister did not respond to our request for comment through his attorney. We should add... After our first report on Burmeister in January of 2021, he sued me and Nine News' parent company for defamation. Last March, a judge dismissed Burmeister's lawsuit. He's currently appealing that decision.